there are possible spoilers in this video for late game events in Nino Kuni. Watch at your own risk. Hello and welcome to this guide to Nino Kuni, the Wrath of the White Witch treats and crafting them for your familiars. Uh, treats are food you can feed your familiars that will increase their stats and allow you to craft uh, uh, familiars to your taste. Certain treats will be liked by certain familiars, like this uh, Casteros, I believe it is, here likes chocolate treats, so anything that increases the attack, uh, whereas uh, this uh, God, fluoro, 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 fluoro or something like that likes uh, cakes, because no, not cakes. You would be Sundays. So, uh, you can find treats around. Uh, you can buy the first level of treats at any shop. Uh, well, there, there they are. Yeah, you can buy all these at shops. You can buy the first level, but to craft better treats and even the best treat you can possibly get, uh, you need to have the ingredients and use alchemy to create them. Uh, all right, uh, mix and match. So we shall start with chocolates. Are uh, uh, used to increase the attack stats of familiars and are favourites of mites and dracones. You can buy chocolates at any shop in the land. To craft milk chocolates you need one chocolate, uh, a creamy milk, and a bumbler honey. You can find creamy milks at uh, the Alma Moon Hutique or they are dropped by or can be stolen from both monoliths and turbandits. Bumbler honey can be bought at the Ding Dong Dell Hutique and can be dropped by or stolen from worker bumblers and soldier bumblers. Chocolates can be bought at any boutique shop or peddler. And that is how you can create a milk chocolate. Fairy chocolate is made uh, using a milk chocolate an angular flour and a rings a bell no that one angulars can be foraged on Robinson Island or Shipwreck Shore. Uh, they are dropped by girl fiends and stolen from rhino boars. Rings of bells can be foraged in the bayous, Tahiti or the rolling hills and are dropped by hippofowl and stolen from barbies. And that how you can make fairy chocolate. Chocolate bonbons can be crafted from two chocolates, two fog drops, uh, 
and two bumbler honeys. Fog drops can be foraged in rolling hills, the Swan Island, the Giant Tabletops, the Barrens and Jack Frost Playground. Or they are dropped by hack robots or stolen from hyperbores. Bumbler honeys uh, can be bought at the Ding Dong Dale Hootique and are dropped by or stolen from worker bumblers and soldier bumblers. And that is how you make chocolate bonbons. Snowdrop bonbons are made using one chocolate bonbon two caramels and one snowflake caramels can be bought from the Yule and Perida peddlers or are dropped by and stolen from balloon sticks snowflakes can be foraged in multiple places on the winter isles or are dropped by boogie woogies and paladin partridges and that is how you make snowdrop bonbons princess chocolate can be crafted from fairy from one fairy chocolate one snowdrop bonbons and two cranberries Crownberries can be bought at the Crypt Casino, foraged for in Bungalow's Bay, or dropped by and stolen from Nightcaps and Scruffian. And that is how you make Princess Chocolate. Princess Chocolate is the best attack stat increasing a uh, treat you can get or make. Flan are used to increase the defense stat of familiars and are the favorites of automata and flora familiar types. A creamy flan can be crafted from one flan to Dumpty eggs and one bumble of honey. Dumpty eggs can be bought at the Ding Dong Dell and Alma Moon Hootiques or are dropped by and stolen from Ouroboros. Bumble of honey can be bought at the Ding Dong Dell Hootique and are dropped by and stolen from Worker Bumbler and Soldier Bumblers. And flan can be bought at any shop, peddler or hootique. And that is how you make creamy flans. Babana flans can be made with one creamy flan, two babanas, and one gnome beard. Babanas can be bought from the Alma Moon Hootique or are dropped by yellow bunches. Gnome beards can be foraged in Tahiti or on Shipwreck Shore and are dropped by Jack Robot and stolen from Trapper Snappers. And that is how you make Babana Flans. Frosty flans can be made using two flans, one snowflake, and two bumbler honeys. Snowflakes can be foraged in multiple places in the Winter Isles and are dropped by Boogie Woogie and Paladin Partridge. Bumbler honey can be bought at the Ding Dong Del Hootique 
and are dropped by and stolen from worker bumblers and soldier bumblers. And that is how you make frosty flans. A fruit flan is made using one frosty flan, two bunches of green grapes, and one bunch of sour grapes. Green grapes can be bought in the Hamlin and Hootique and Yule Peddler or are dropped by and can be stolen from Captain or Captain Zombos. Sour grapes can be foraged in Billy Goat's Bluff or are dropped by Florid Florets and Steam Man and can also be stolen from Steam Man. And that is how you make a fruit flan. A fantastic flan is made using one babana fran flan, one fruit flan, and two big babanas. Big babanas can be bought at the Crypt Casino or are dropped by Hierophant and II catchers and stolen from Hierophants. And that is how you make a fantastic flan. A fantastic flan is the best defense stat increasing treat you can find or make. Cakes are magic attack stat increasing treats and are the favorite of Nymphae, Arcana and Mortui familiars. A carrot cake can be made using one cake and three crunchy carrots. Crunchy carrots can be bought at the Ding Dong Dell and Alma Moon Hootiques can be foraged for in Nazcar and are dropped by or stolen from Little Bighorns. Cakes can be bought at any shop, peddler or hootique and that is how you create a carrot cake. A carnation cake is made using one carrot cake two dumpty eggs and one angula. Dumpty eggs can be bought in Ding Dong Dell and Alma Moon Hootiques and are dropped by and stolen from Ouroboreus. Angula can be foraged in Robinson Island and on Shipwreck Shore and are dropped by girl fiends and stolen from Rhino Boar. And that is how you craft a carnation cake. Breeze cakes can be crafted using two cakes two caramels and one gust plume. Caramels can be bought from the Yule and Perida peddlers and are dropped by and stolen from balloon sticks. Gust plumes can be dropped by and stolen from thunderbirds and prohawks. And that is how you create breeze cakes. Patty cakes are crafted with one breeze cake one rumble nut and one power stone. Rumble nuts can be foraged in Ghostly Gorge, dropped by Wimpy Fowl and stolen from Ace. Power stones can be foraged in Billy Goat's Bluff, dropped by Gruffian and Hierophant and stolen from Gruffians. And that is how you craft Patty Cakes. Hot cakes can be crafted with one carnation cake one drake stone and two cranberries. Drake stones can be dropped by and stolen from Gobspeed, Wayward Sun and Grandson. Cranberries can be bought at the Crypt Casino, foraged in Bungalow's Bay and dropped by and stolen from Nightcap and Scruffian. And that is how you craft hotcakes. Hotcakes are the best magic attack stat increasing item that can be found or crafted. Sundays are a magic defense stat increasing treat that are the favorites of Vermes and Demonia familiars. Sour Sundays can be crafted with one Sunday and three yogurts. Yogurts can be bought at the Castaway Cove Peddler and Alma Moon Hootique and are dropped by and stolen from Lightshade. Sundays can be bought at any shop, peddler or boutique, and that is how you craft sour sundaes.
wildflower sundaes can be crafted using one sour sundae, one plainswort flower, and one rings a bell. Plainswort flower can be foraged in the rolling hills and pig iron plain and can be dropped by and stolen from bar tenders. Rings a bell can be foraged in the bayous, Tahiti and rolling hills and can be dropped by hippofowl and stolen from barbies. And that is how you craft wildflower sundaes. Toadstool sundaes can be crafted with two sundaes, two black truffles and one glow cap. Black truffles can be bought at the Hamlin Hutique and are dropped by Gobfather and Crashing Boars and stolen from Crashing Boars. Glow caps can be foraged just outside of the Golden Grove and in the Shimmering Sands. They are dropped by Nap Cap and stolen from Rhino Snore. And that is how you craft Toadstool Sundays. Sarsaparilla Sundays can be crafted using one Toadstool Sunday, two Snow Radishes, and two Booster Shoots. Snow radishes can be bought at the Yule Peddler and are dropped by Papa Sasquash and Ice Maiden and stolen from Ice Maiden. Booster shoots can be foraged for in the rolling hills and are dropped by and stolen from Rough, Sleepy Fowl, Whippersnapper and Worker Bumblers. And that is how you craft Sarsaparilla Sundays. Knickerbocker Glories can be crafted with one wildflower sundae, one crownberry, and two big babanas. Crownberries can be bought at the Crypt Casino, foraged for in Bungalow's Bay, and are dropped by and stolen from Nightcap and Scruffians. Big babanas can be bought at the Crypt Casino, are dropped by Hierophant and II Catchers, and are stolen from Hierophants. And that is how you craft Knicker Blocker Glories. Knickerbocker Glories provide the best magic defense stat increase of all treats that you can find or craft. Pies are an accuracy stat increasing treat that are the favorite of Aquatica, Minima and Nobilia Familias. Sweetie Pie can be crafted using one pie and three crunchy carrots. Crunchy carrots can be bought at the Ding Dong Dell and Alma Moon Hutiques, foraged for in Nazcar, and are dropped by and stolen from Little Bighorn. Pies can be bought at any shop, peddler, or hutique, and that is how you craft a sweetie pie. See through pie can be crafted using one sweetie pie. Two yogurts, and one spring water. Yogurts can be bought at the Castaway Cove Peddler and Alma Moon Hutique and are dropped by and stolen from Lightshade. Spring water can be foraged for in the Rolling Hills and Shimmering Sands and are dropped by and stolen from Rhinosaur. <laughs> Game pie can be crafted with one sweetie pie, two tender beef and one rumble nut. Tender beef can be bought at the Ding Dong Dell Hutique and rumble nuts can be foraged in the ghostly gorge dropped by Wimpy Fowl and stolen from Ace. And that is how you craft game pie. Pie on the bone can be crafted with one game pie, one sturdy shin bone and one teal wood. Sturdy shinbone can be foraged for in the giant's tabletops and are dropped by and stolen from Dinoceros, Hurley, Mama Sasquatch and Psychophant. Teal wood can be foraged for in multiple places in the Winter Isles and are dropped by Auralynx and Paladin Partridge and stolen from Pal Paladin Partridge. And that is how you craft pie on a bone. Golden pie can be crafted with one see-through pie, two babanas, 
and two big babanas. Babanas can be bought from the Alma Moon Hutique and are dropped by Yellow Bunches. Big Babanas can be bought at the Crypt Casino and are dropped by Hierophant and I.I. Catchers and stolen from Hierophants. And that is how you craft Golden Pie. Golden Pie is the best accuracy stat increase in treat that is findable and craftable. Ice Cream is an evasion stat increasing treat that is the favourite of Beastie and Aves. Salted ice cream can be crafted with one ice cream and one booster shoot. Booster shoots can be foraged in the rolling hills and are dropped by and stolen from rough, sleepy fowl, whippersnapper and worker bumblers. And ice cream can be bought at any shop, peddler or hootique and that is how you craft salted ice cream. Ruby Ripple Ice Cream can be crafted with one salted ice cream, two crunchy carrots and one ember stone. Crunchy carrots can be bought at Ding Dong Dell and Alma Moon Hutique, foraged for in Nazcar and are dropped by and stolen from Little Bighorn. Ember stones are dropped by Mohawk and Egg Rolls and can be stolen from Mites, Mohawk, Egg Rolls and Sunshine. And that is how you craft Ruby Ripple Ice Cream. Soft Scoop Ice Cream can be crafted with one salted ice cream, two bunches of green grapes and one gnome beard. Green grapes can be bought at the Hamlin Hutique and Yule Peddler and are dropped by and stolen from Captain Zombos. Gnome beards can be foraged for in Tahiti and Shipwreck Shore and are dropped by Jack Robots and stolen from Trapper Snappers. That is how you craft Soft Scoop Ice Cream. Snow White Ice Cream can be crafted using soft scoop, one Soft Scoop Ice Cream, two yogurts and one snowflake. Yogurt can be bought at the Castaway Cove Peddler and Alma Moon Hutique and are dropped by and stolen from Light Shades. Snowflakes can be foraged at multiple places in the Winter Isles and are dropped by Boogie Woogie and Paladin Partridges. And that is how you craft Snow White Ice Cream. Tutti Fruity Ice Cream can be crafted using one Ruby Ripple Ice Cream, one bunch of sour grapes and two cranberries. You can forage for sour grapes in Billy Goat's Bluff and they are dropped by Florid Florets and Steam Man and stolen from Steam Man. Crownberries can be bought at the Crypt Casino, foraged for in Bungalow's Bay and are dropped by and stolen from Nightcaps and Scruffians. And that is how you craft Tutti Fruity Ice Cream. Tutti Fruity Ice Cream is the best evasion stat increasing treat that you can find or craft. So that is how you craft every single treat available in Nino Kuni and where you can find the ingredients to craft each and every treat. You can use these treats, as I said before, on your familiars to permanently increase their stats and their familiarity. The, these treats with the highest uh, increase rate and highest heaviness are the best to use to quickly increase your familiar's familiarity and stats. It is also it is also suggested that you do use you it is also suggested that you do this increase before the secret boss in the game to ensure your success against it. 
Thank you so much for watching. And if you need and if you need any more guides, please be sure to check back on this channel. Goodbye.